it's not a walkthrough, playthrough, review, anything like that. It's just me playing the game badly, so you can see what it looks like. Okay then, this is Hydra on the Atari Lynx. I have never played this before, so I don't really know what I'm doing. Uh, down to accelerate, I find that weird. Uh, I don't actually know. <laughs> I don't know what all these things are. And what I'm. Uh, it's like there are blue balls and red balls and. head balls? No. Um, yeah. So I'm in some kind of speedboat with wings. And, and there are things up there on balloons. Uh, how am I meant to get them? Do I have missiles? I don't seem able. Out of fuel. How do I refuel? I don't. This is where even I sit here thinking, should have done some research. Uh, is the fuel on a timer? Okay, yes it is, because I got through there and it went back up. Oops, what are they? They look like, I don't know, red finned robot sharks. I don't know what they are. I think the key to this game is go fast, shoot everything, pray. Visually it's lovely. Um, the, oh, <laughs> it just, I mean, okay, it's low resolution and that, that's a bit limiting, but the sprite scaling is great, the movement is great, it's, it's, it's me dying, so you can see what it looks like. Yeah, it plays, just, oh God. Okay, I suck at it, but... Yeah. We'll have another go. Uh, probably won't do any better. Yeah. Uh, the, the sprite scaling abilities of the Lynx are oh, bollocks. I always find impressive. I mean, what year did this thing come out? Yeah, it's handling sprites like, uh, well like a 32X or, well no, it, it's handling them more like a, uh, a Sega or Mega CD, you know, it's not quite up there with say the 32X or the Saturn, but it's doing, it's doing a damn sight better job than pretty much every other 16-bit, never mind 8-bit system, and I mean this is an 8-bit handheld, granted it's got 16-bit graphics chips, but it's an 8-bit CPU, so yeah. I, I do think the sprite scaling is on a par with the uh, Mega CD, which had dedicated sprite scaling hardware, which probably actually this thing does. It's great. I really oh, wish I could stop dying. What are... I wish I knew what some of these things were. This is it, a downside with playing um, games on a, on a flash cartridge is you don't have the instructions. It's actually, I mean, there is no downside to owning a flash cartridge. The, the benefit you get with having the real thing is you have instructions. Yeah, I don't. I could almost certainly look them up, but you know, this is me. Come on, get through there. Get, get in there. Get through. Oh, uh, well. I've never seen this before. What the? It's alright, that looked a bit weird for a moment then. Cool! Money! Excellent! I wish I had some. That much would be very nice. Yeah. Well, that's pretty. So what? 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 We're flying? Are we flying? Were we flying? Oh. Well, that wasn't flying. That was crashing. I don't know what that... Was that some kind of bonus? I don't... Yeah, we'll have fuel, please. I don't know which is the A button, actually. How much should we get? Whatever. I do like this. What's that? I don't know what that was. Let's go. Ah. Okay, so we have another button. Oh dear, oh dear, okay. So some things take a different weapon to... 
Oh, I seem to have used it all up. I guess that flamer thing was a... Was it? No, I don't. I have no idea. I don't know what's going on. What the bloody hell? Ah, oh, someone at the door. Right, okay, gotta stop. Thank you for watching. Ah, yes. So, I think the button that releases the hound to that subscribe button. <laughs> oh, hello, yes. Do subscribe. <laughs>